Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to customize the color of the mobile info bar in your Squarespace website. Now at the time of recording this, that is a premium feature only available for business and commerce plans. And if you haven't set up your mobile info bar yet, check out the related videos linked below. I've got a tutorial that will walk you through how you can set this up on your own website step by super simple step. But if you already have a mobile info bar enabled, let's customize it. I've got the codes listed in the description below, but I'm going to go ahead and hop into Squarespace and share my screen here so you can see exactly how they work so you'll understand how to use these codes on your own website. So here we are inside Squarespace, and unfortunately, we can't see the mobile info bar while we're editing the site unless we hop over to that section. So we're going to add these custom codes and then take a look at our changes. This first code right here will change the background color of our mobile info bar to red. The second code is what we're going to use to change the color of the text. Here you can see the difference. This says trigger label. This just says mobile info bar. Now I'm going to go ahead and navigate to design and then scroll down to custom CSS. This is where we'll paste both of those codes. I'll paste this code here and then I'll enter a new line in my CSS and I'll paste the second code. So now the background will be red and the mobile info bar labels will be yellow. I'll select save and let's go ahead and navigate from our main menu down to settings and then we'll select mobile information bar. Now you can see the bar is red and the text is yellow. Definitely a lot more vibrant than it was before. I do want to mention I have this set to mobile info bar dark. That's why my icons are that white color. If you select light, the icons will be a dark color. So that's an important thing to note. Now this is what it looks like here. If we hop back over to design and then go down to custom CSS and remove this code that we added, let's take a look at what it looked like before. Again, I'm sorry we can't preview this in edit mode, but we've got to click around here. We'll click into mobile information bar. This is what it looked like before. And with these codes, we changed the background to red and the labels to yellow. I am using web safe color names, but you can use a hex color code or RGB, any color code you'd like in replace of the words red and yellow to change those colors. And again, I've selected dark, which is why the icons are light. And if I select the light option, the icons are dark. Make sure you keep a good contrast with whatever background color you change it to. Alrighty, the codes I just shared are listed in the description below, but if this is the very first time you've used CSS to customize your Squarespace website, I would love to teach you more. Head on over to insidethesquare.co forward slash learn. There you can grab my free guide to the basics of customizing your Squarespace website with code. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash learn. Thanks again for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give me a like and a comment and definitely subscribe to my channel because I post a brand new tutorial every single week and I want to make sure you catch the latest. Thanks again for watching and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you're going to love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I put all of my custom codes and pro tips inside one gigantic PDF available now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.